Hello everyone, and uh, well, today we'll be tackling another Dwarven tale. Uh, I told one of my friends that uh, I would uh, make a short video about the Wicked Witch of the West, uh, which was one of the people involved in the last story. Uh, reality is uh, stranger than fiction. And uh, he was wondering why the hell I, I named her that way. So yeah, today, short video. I have two, two stories about uh, that person. Uh, the day I met her and the day she ruined my birthday. Uh, so <laughs> uh, the Wicked Witch of the West was the girlfriend of one of my friends who I called Pothead in the other video. And... Uh, Let's just say that she, she was probably the first person I've met uh, that I made my mind about that person within seconds. And there was absolutely nothing in this world that could make me change my mind <laughs> afterwards. Not that she even tried to change my uh, my view of her, but hey, okay. So, what happened the day uh, the day I met her? My friend Pot had I just started going out with her, and uh, he wanted me to meet her. You know, because as I mentioned in the other video, I was kind of like the big brother of the group. So uh, I don't know if he was. Uh, looking for my uh, approval or he just wanted me to meet her I don't know but that's not really important what is important is that when she arrived to uh, uh, my apartment at that po at that time they both enter we close the door behind them and uh, he tells me well this is looking which of the West and this is Dwarven, blah, 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 blah. And right off the bat, no, I, I shake her hand. Nice to meet you. And right then and there, she bolts towards our right, my left, uh, towards the, the bathroom and the, the, uh, the bedrooms. The living room was right behind me. So I said, uh, wait, wait, where are you going? Uh, well, maybe she had to go. But no. She flat out tells me, I'm going to go check the drawers uh, in your bedroom. It's like, what? And I'm sure that just hearing that, you, <laughs> you're telling yourselves, uh, there's no way that happened, but yeah, I I was just as I I wasn't even surprised because my my brain simply could not comprehend that someone would want to do that. So I I said no. I said well I'm going, and I said no, and she kept going. So I had to grab her arm. To stop her and she would keep pulling and pulling said no you can't do that people don't, don't do that so I'm, I'm doing it and I, I looked at my friend um, Potterhead and he was just looking at the ground you see the problem with Potterhead was that he had zero self-confidence when it came to women and uh, he told me later on that uh, he didn't want to leave her because he was afraid he would spend the rest of his life alone. Uh, but I, I knew Pothead. He was a great guy. You know, it's strictly a problem of self-confidence because he could have found <laughs> he could have found someone better. You know, just by turning the corner of the street and just flirting with the first 
<laughs> person that came there. Uh, but yeah, if I wasn't getting any help from him. So she kept pulling until she freed herself and went straight to my room and checked my drawers. She didn't find anything. That's not where I get my porn. But it was a complete and utter show of disrespect. So right then and there, she wasn't my black book. I mean, fuck her. Fuck that bitch. I mean, come on. Who does that? Who does that? Uh, and Pothead and uh, Triple W's <laughs> relationship was rocky at best. Um, often Pothead would come come up to me and tell me about how how badly things were going. Um, apparently, well, not apparently. It was obvious, but uh, from what he told me. Uh, about their relationship. She was extremely controlling and jealous. Uh, on top of that, she was short, fat, and ugly. So yeah, Pothead could have done much better. Uh, much better. And he did! Because uh, relatively recently I, I looked him up on Facebook and it uh, seems like he's with uh, very nice looking, very nice smiling woman now. So looks like he found finally found he finally found his self confidence. I'm I'm really happy for that guy. He, he deserved so much better, especially since at the end of the second. Uh, no, I, I can tell you right now. Uh, the last because uh, at at one point we we just grew apart, and the last time I heard from him. Um, he had gone back with with the WWW and uh, they were planning on buying a, a house together. I was like, oh god, he's done, he's done. Just escape! Escape! <sighs> but yeah, uh, apparently now he's fine, thankfully. Uh, the, the main problem between them was that uh, not only was she controlling, jealous, etc., etc., but around every Christmas, she would leave them. And then, after the holidays were over, she would come back. And he would take her back. And that went on for three years. Um... The third year, when she left them, uh, we were taking a walk together, and Pot had told me, "That's it. <laughs> I'm done with this shit." <laughs> she always does the same, same thing every year. So fuck that. But sadly, one month later, she came back, and he, he took, he took her back. <sighs> self confidence. I have a lot of self confidence issue as well. But not to the point where I would willingly be in a bad relationship. Because fuck that. I mean, it's like... Uh, playing a game on the internet and getting swamped in, into internet drama. I mean, games are supposed to be like the escapism from real life. So when you bring real life drama to games, you know, things are fucked up. But anyway, anyway so the first story when I, I met her, uh, let's just say that I thought I had uh, just kept apologizing uh, the next few times we spoke to one another. <laughs> he could have. But then again, I should have kicked her out right then and there. I, she had no right to do that. 
a complete lack of respect. But I was trying to be an adult. Shouldn't have. That bitch didn't, didn't deserve it. Anyway, so years pass. Uh, that was rough. Uh, this, uh, then the story I'm about to tell you was about uh, a couple of years after. Uh, I don't know, come to think of it, I have a very, very uh, s short third story about her. But yeah, so a couple of years later, uh, my birthday comes around. Usually, I won't go into details, but usually um, none of my friends uh, is around when my birthday comes. So, I've accepted the fact that uh, my birthday tends to go unnoticed. Um, but that year, my friends were around, and they knew that uh, my birthday tended to go unnoticed. So they called me and said, hey, we're going to our favorite bar, we're going, going to get drunk, we're going to you know, wish you a good birthday, we'll have some fun. Sure, sure, all right. So we get to the, to the bar, and I think... We were a small group, like we were four, yeah, I think there were only four of us, maybe five. Uh, you had Pothead and uh, the Wicked Witch of the West, as well as me, of course. And one of our friends, uh, who was not part of the last story, uh, who I'll call, oh my. Uh, but I, I won't tell you why. <laughs> Maybe another story, uh, as that was another uh, funny one. Um, but yeah, we were drinking, having fun, we were just talking. Oh, we weren't doing anything special. The main point was not to have my birthday go unnoticed. So I was very happy just spending some time with friends. Uh, however, the Wicked Witch of the West didn't want to be there. Of course, she's a bitch. She probably still is a bitch, even more than 20 years later. Um, so she kept bringing Pothead outside and trying to convince him to leave. And uh, would say, hey, he's my friend. Fuck that. It's his birthday. So uh, she, they did that a couple of times. Eventually, uh, came back inside. So. Uh, I think I was, the, the three guys were drinking beer and she was having, you know, a cocktail or something. And she had finished her cocktail. And there was, uh, there were only ice cubes left in the glass. So she was fiddling with the glass and at some point, you know, it tipped over. And the, the ice cubes just slid across the, the table. So she started picking them up. And then, once again, I wouldn't be surprised any of you who listen to this go like, nobody would do that. But yeah, yeah. She picked one of the ice cubes and threw it straight at my face. Back then I was not wearing uh, glasses. She hit me right beneath the eye and cut me. So obviously I went, what the fuck is wrong with you? And she said, I was trying to, to aim for your forehead. How is that better? She could easily have injured me. Thankfully, she hit just beneath my eye. If, he, if she had hit my eye, that could have gone really wrong. So, of course, I, I snapped at her like, like, 
what I'm doing there. You know, I was like, fuck that shit. Get that bitch out of out of here. And uh, my friend bought head, you know, took her and they, they left. So completely ruined my birthday. I mean, who does that? Genuinely, I I, re I really want to know who the fuck does that. How the hell did I need these these kind of people? Seriously, I still can't understand it today. Even if you don't like someone, you don't do that. That's like spitting in someone's drink. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, anyway, so the third short story about her. It was not really about her. She was just in it. Uh, in the last video, when I talked about T-Bone and Max, I, I mentioned that they got married. So before he got mad at me, uh, T-Bone asked me to uh, organize his uh, guy's night out. Well, no, 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 it wasn't T-Bone who asked me that. Because T-Bone was a bit shy around women. Max came to me and said, we need to, you know, Make him a man. So, I, I'd like you to make him a man. <laughs> so, for the guys now out, I would like you to go to a strip club. Yeah! It's a future wife who said that. I know. I know it sounds strange. I, I was just as surprised by that. But she said, I'm going to come, come with. We're going to have fun, everyone together. But we're going to make him a man. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Who was there that night? Uh, there was Pothead, Wicked Witch of the West, uh, T-Bone, Max, and uh, me. Oh, my. And I'm not too sure if anyone else was there. Probably not, because at that time, the asshole had been booted out of the group due to what he did. So if you don't know about the other video, uh, I strongly suggest you watch that. And, uh... <laughs> so imagine, there, we, there were two couples and two single guys there. And, uh... T-Bone didn't want to be there, but Max really wanted him to be there. <laughs> While Pothead wanted to be there, but Wicked Witch of the West did not want him to be at a strip club. Which is why she was there. So what do you think happened? Uh, oh, well, I'm kind of... Outing myself uh, by saying this, but yeah, I, I knew one of the girls uh, working there. <laughs> I knew her well enough. And uh, we uh, asked her to come to the table and uh, uh, our friend T-Bone had to, uh, to lick uh, whipped cream off her ornaments uh, <laughs> and uh, all the while Max was laughing her ass off at him because he was incredibly shy around women so imagine having to do something like that in front of his future wife who was the one who asked me to bring him there <laughs> so, Everyone was having fun except T-Bone, <laughs> who was the one who should have been having fun. Uh, and of course there was one other person who was not having fun at all, and that was Pothead. Because Wicked Witch of the West was with him.
and she was controlling and extremely jealous. So whenever the dancer was with us, or something uh, later on in the night, T-Bone was brought on the stage and he had to do push-ups with two girls on him. I mean, I can barely do push-ups with just me. <laughs> so that, that was impressive. Uh, <laughs> but it, every time there was some nakedness happening around, Poor Pothead was looking straight at the ground and Wicked Witch of the West was next to him like this. As, as if daring him to raise his, uh, his gaze so she could then complain that he was looking at other, other women. So she ruined his night then so, I guess she was a ruiner of uh, happy events. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Wicked Witch of the West for you. So, yeah. Well, the, the video lasted far longer than I expected, but yeah. That's the Wicked Witch of the West. So, thankfully, Pothead isn't with her anymore. Thankfully. After all that ugly midget from hell deserve to be forever alone and I hope that's what happened you know I, I don't hope for people to die but she deserved to be alone <laughs> that I can live with anyway hope you enjoyed the, the story and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>